Okay, so to continue we'll uh, make some nails at the other end and that will be first to make a, a plane at this end. So if we go to the design, select, pick a face, control click the other face, make a plane. The plane is at the midpoint and we want to uh, draw on that plane um, a little line and then um, draw some more uh, ones along there. So we'll, with the plane selected, we'll click the sketch mode and we'll grab a line and with the line uh, tool We'll um, we're on the curve. Click and over to there. So we've got a little line segment. Back out to 3D, and now we want to make copies of that line long the length, so we'll pick the item we want to pattern, click the pattern feature and the direction it asks for, and we want to go this direction which is good, and we're going to um, see yes it's already filled there, remembered it from the last time, we just say yes. So now we've got bunch of nails along this other side. Those are curves and what we need is to convert those curves into um, beams. So we'll use the select tool and we'll click. I'm not sure why we see the lines in two places. Click and shift click on the lines. So there's all the lines selected. And then under the prepare tab, create. And those lines, I believe, are now all beams. And yes, there are no more lines above the two pattern callouts. So uh, those are all beams. We're now on to the step of using shared topology so that the beams connect with the surface and the uh, rails. So uh, back to the structure, which is up here, we're going to make a um, new component and we'll call it uh, nailed assembly. And in that uh, component, we're going to put the nails, the sheathing, and the top and bottom rail. So those three pieces are all going in the nailed assembly. And the reason is, in the nailed assembly, we're going to use share topology, share. And when we look at the uh, studs, the studs are made up of three pieces. Those three pieces are glued together. If we look at uh, this one stud, those are glued and we uh, can avoid using contact elements to glue those together. If we click on the assembly and say share topology share, and those will be meshed together and we'll do that for both of them. So now we have um, basically two rails. Let's go and show all the bodies. Uh, here we go. Nailed assembly. We're ready to um, bring this into uh, mechanical. 
So we're going to exit space claim. We're going to refresh the project. And while that's bringing in that geometry, I mentioned that the engineering data is um, the data Connor provided with the timber and the um, sheathing. And I see there's uh, some isotropic materials in there, or orthotropic materials in there, I should say. And uh, that's because timber is very different properties along the grain versus across the grain. And uh, it's a lot stronger uh, along the grain than across the grain, and a lot stiffer. And so those values are shown in the different uh, different directions. So if we go look at the engineering data, here is the uh, the timber, and so you can see uh, a much higher modulus in uh, the x direction than the y and the z, and um, that means we should make sure that the the x direction for the material is pointed. Uh, there's, that there's a coordinate system that makes sure that the x direction for each rail and for each spar is pointed in the right direction axially along the, the rail or the spar. Back to the project, um, so we might we might address that in a, a separate video. Let's open mechanical and then see how the shared topology is working when we mesh the beam elements that are representing small nails to the frames. So here's the pieces and if we look we see we've got um, our little beam elements and if we just throw a quick mesh on there to see how it did we want to make sure that we have connection and it looks like we do so um, the meshes have uh, deviated uh, wherever it needed to so that the beams were supported in a similar, in a similar way each uh, beam has a node on the solid side so this is shared topology working and so uh, what we just are lacking currently is a connection between the the spar the start I should say and and the rail and uh, that's probably a good topic for another video so I'll stop this video now and um, you can see that perhaps some other video